So I was contacted on uh, 12 June, um, a homeowner in New Franken had collected what she thought was a, a black widow, and she sent me photos, and indeed it seemed to be a black widow, but it seemed to be the northern black widow, which is the native species. Um, usually when people um, show me black widows, they're, they're southern black widows or western black widows that have been moved in with produce or with furniture when they move. And so this was really exciting because we had never seen the northern black widow in Brown County before. So people have, have um, sent me these or showed me photos of the northern black widow from Door County, but never from Brown County or really anywhere else in the state. There are historical records from Milwaukee and Waukesha and from Prairie du Chien area um, and Portage area, but never from this, this part of the, the state. And so I was really interested to go out and see it. And so they invited me to come out to their house and sure enough, it's a black widow, northern black widow. All of these Latrodictus, Latrodectus widow spiders have a powerful neurotoxin which affects nerves, causing pain and muscle contraction, and it's a really excruciating, painful experience if you're bitten by a widow. However, um, as far as we can tell, no one has ever been bitten by a black widow in the state of Wisconsin. So these, these black widows are not very common, and people are not very likely to run into them. I've been collecting spiders in Wisconsin since 1999, and I've collected thousands and thousands of spiders, but I've never myself collected a, a northern widow. of our of our region and it's kind of interesting to think that this species has probably lived in Brown County for thousands of years and yet nobody's ever run into one that knew what it was and so this is really the first documented um, instance of this particular species in in our part of the state and so it's just very interesting. Uh, anything else you'd like to add I didn't uh, touch on? I, I want to um, stress that um, it's very unlikely that someone would get bitten by uh, one of these northern black widows. I grew up in New Mexico, and in the house I lived in you, and around the yard, you could probably find 50 black widows on any given day. And yet, uh, nobody I ever knew got bitten by a black widow. So, I mean, people do get bit by black widows, but mostly only in places like that, where there are many, many spiders. Up here, where it's very difficult to find one, it's very unlikely that anyone would ever get bitten. Thank you. All right, thanks.